the prayers of the people. The child was called John, a name that means God is gracious. Let us ask God to help us be faithful witnesses of this gracious love revealed in Christ. Holy God, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who have asked for our prayers, especially Father Steve, Sharon, Margaret, Rebecca, Jack, and Clella, Steve, Beverly, Father David, the Ayers family, Karis, Ken, Will. May our words and actions help point the way to Christ's healing love. Holy God, hear our prayer. For Brother Ricky and Kate to be welcomed as new members of the parish of St. John the Baptist today, Holy God, hear our prayer. For the sisters of the community of St. John Baptist in Mendham, New Jersey, who provided leadership to St. Helen's Hall, OES's forerunner for 40 years, and for whom our parish is named, Holy God, hear our prayer. May the wisdom of the Church's teachings inspire all nations to work for greater justice on the earth. Holy God, hear our prayer. May we recognize the Spirit's voice speaking through the prophets of our time, especially those who call us away from all violence. Holy God, hear our prayer. May each person be filled with gratitude and self-respect for having been wonderfully made by God. Holy God, hear our prayer. May the Spirit enlighten us to our continuous need for personal conversion. Holy God, hear our prayer. May God sustain us through periods of discouragement in promoting gospel values in our consumer culture. Holy God, hear our prayer. We especially pray in this time of national division over the Supreme Court ruling uh, regarding Roe versus Wade. Some will be rejoicing, some will be mourning, some will be in pain. We pray that we center on the work of love and being light in the world. And we are centered on caring for those who are most affected and in most um, turmoil over this decision. Holy God. If you have another uh, intercession or Thanksgiving to offer, please let us know. Holy God. And now if you uh, desire a special blessing for a birthday or an anniversary or travel or some such, please let us know. Let's start with our Zoom. Do we have any impending birthdays or... How about an... Anniversaries? No travel either. Welcome back, Don. It's nice to see you. We're seeing Don Snyder. God of unexpected birth and desert waters, silence our cynicism and give us a new voice that with John the Baptist we may proclaim your overwhelming grace through Jesus Christ, the one who is to come. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, today, amongst everything else we're celebrating is our Welcome Sunday, uh, where we uh, welcome new um, members into the parish. Actually, there are a number more that uh, want to be welcomed as news members, but are already starting the summer travel and couldn't be here and so forth. But I'd like to um, invite um, 
um, Brother Ricky and uh, his uh, sponsor, Brother John. Oh, there he is. Will you come forward? And Kate McClellan and, and Joe St. Clair. Please come forward. We put the two religious together so that you could see the church's different habits. <laughs> we want to come over on this side. So I'll ask uh, Brother John to start uh, introducing Brother Ricky. I'm privileged to introduce my friend Brother Ricky Joe Cook. He's been an Episcopalian since the age of 10, when he was confirmed while attending the Washington State School, thank you, up, uh, for the blind in Vancouver, Washington. Brother Ricky comes to us as a second year professed Episcopal monk in the community of the Mother of Jesus. His community calls on society and its institutions to share from their abundance with the poor. He has been given a religious name, Brother Gabriel. His mission is simply to care for those in need. To bring, he brings joy and blessings through caring, listening, praying, whenever the opportunity arises. Let me see. My brother Ricky is fond of saying, the older I get, the sweeter it gets. Welcome, Brother Ricky, to the Episcopal Parish of St. John the Baptist. Some questions you might want to ask, Brother Ricky, is uh, what, uh, during the coffee hour, is uh, what church he was baptized in, what is a di dispersed community, why did you choose your religious name, were you once a professional chef, what's your dog's name? And how long have you had her? Thank you, thank you. And now I'll have uh, Joe St. Clair introduce Kate. I'd like to introduce to you a very delightful lady, Kate McClellan, who grew up in Marin County, California, the second oldest of five siblings, and while growing up was like a mom to her two youngest siblings. She graduated from the University of California, Santa Cruz, where, as she says, my friends and I were hippies. <laughs> With a major of aesthetic studies focused on creative writing, she also pursued her passion for skiing and horseback riding. She's right there with me. Fifteen years after graduating from college, Kate met her husband Chuck, living in Novato, California, and raising their now 27-year-old daughter, Megan, the family started attending St. Francis of Assisi, a pick Episcopal Church, Kate says, quote, my heart opened and Jesus appeared. At St. Francis, I found a purpose, a community conf confidence, and unconditional love. In 2020, they moved to Sherwood, Oregon, and just celebrated their 30th wedding anniversary. Kate came to St. John's through Deacon Annette, who was also a parishioner at St. Francis. Kate currently volunteers with Mother Mary Ann in the Children's Corner and is on the Altar Guild. Her favorite and longest career was as a preschool teacher where, quote, working with children every day brought me closer to God. It was a joy. Her current goals are to find a place where she can be a volunteer chaplain, to create art on a regular basis, to find a bird watching group, and to make new friends. Welcome, Kate. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
Here's, you need the bulletin for the next part. I'd ask the sponsors to uh, begin on the bottom of page six. We present. Dear friends in Christ, as the parish of St. John the Baptist, we strive to share the good news of God, to grow as Christian disciples, and to respond to the needs of the world and the power of the Spirit. The parish carries out its mission through the ministry of all its members as it prays and worships, proclaims the gospel, and promotes justice, peace, and love. The duty of all Christians is to follow Christ, to come together week by week for corporate worship and to work, pray, and give for the spread of the realm of God. To our new members, will you commit yourself to be faithful in the use of your time, giving priority to worship and prayer to the living God? Will you commit yourself to be faithful in the use of your talents, serving the world by carrying out the ministry of Jesus Christ in this community and in your daily life? Will you commit yourself to be faithful in the use of your treasure, pledging to support the ministry of this parish in thanksgiving for the wonderful gifts of the Holy Spirit in your life? I invite the congregation to stand. And will you, who are members of the parish of St. John the Baptist, faithfully promise to do all in your power to uphold these new parishioners in their Christian life? We will. Together. We welcome you into this household of faith. We commit ourselves to stand by you in your joy and sorrow, in prosperity and adversity. And we bid you share with us the Christ ministry of reconciliation, hope, and love. Please welcome again our newest members. The peace of Christ be always with you. Peace to all of you and welcome the newly joined. Peace be with you, everyone. Peace with you. God's peace towards Zoomers. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God. <laughs> 